breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. It's happening. <laughs> This nation and our God will help us so. As to gives federal government 14 days ultimatum, one of imminent strike, saying if the federal government does not listen and do as we have asked, the possibility of students remaining at home is inevitable. Now, this is a situation where it has become a repeated behavior from the academic staff, how students are being treated. How can someone go to school and half of that semester you are at home. Then when they come back, they are trying to rush up and, you know, and that's why a lot, if you know the amount of money that is spent, you know, sending those that mean they have the means, sending their children abroad to get a quality education is absurd. Have you ever heard that Donald Trump, for instance, or Clintons, okay, or Obama, send their children to Africa to school? Why? Because they don't have that quality, you know, of education. If we have it, trust me, they will come. They will come. I know you don't believe it, but trust me, they will come. But have we created that environment? I beg to defer. The answer is no. So we are the ones going to where we, in quote and unquote, suppose that the education is okay. Asu is planning another strike, but is it really their fault? To an extent, no. Is the federal government doing their due diligence? No. Are they being paid? No. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Asu gives 14 days ultimatum to federal government promises of eminent strike. The Academic Staff Union of University has issued a fresh 14 days ultimatum for the federal government to resolve lingering issues affecting lecturers. ASU is demanding the conclusion of the negotiation of the 2009 FGN slash ASU agreement based on minimum bridge committee draft agreement of 2021 and the payment of salaries withheld due to the union eight months indefinite action in 2022. ASU President Emmanuel Osodake in a statement on Wednesday express frustration with the government's lack of commitment and delay tactics, noting that the action we are fearing a crisis in the public university system, making our children not to have the quality of education they should. The statement reads, in view of the foregoing ASU resolve to give the Nigerian government Another, we give the Nigerian government another 14 days. We have given the federal government a 14 days ultimatum to respond to our need. The statement reads, in view of the foregoing ASU resolve to give the Nigerian government another 14 days, in addition to the earlier 21 days beginning from Monday, September the 23rd, 2024, during which all the lingering issues must be addressed and the concerns must be. We therefore want them to look at all the lingering issues which must have been, which must be addressed to the satisfaction of the membership of the union. The union should not be held responsible for any industrial disruption that arises from the government failure to seize the new opportunity to offer ASU a nip and, and looming crisis to, to nip it in the board. ASU is also demanding the release of unpaid salaries for staff on sabbatical, part-time, and adjourned appointment affected by the lingering payroll and personal information system. The payment of outstanding third-party deductions such as check-off, those dues and competitive contribution the union is also seeking funding for the realization of public universities and payment of, of academic allowance part, partially captured in the 2023 budget. Other issues include universities of the federal government and state government must be well equipped. The report of visiting panel to universities must be reviewed. The lingering Resolution to govern council, governing council, adopting of the university transparency and accountability solution as a replacement for IPP. We therefore want the federal government to look into these areas and give us 
real information on how this matter will be resolved. Failure to do so means that this will continue. We are tired of the same thing over and over again. Well, if you look at it, you will understand that the Nigerian government is unyielding to a large extent. They don't prioritize education, of which, of which you can see. They don't prioritize education and they feel that if you want whatever you want to do, my dear, do your worst. We don't care. We don't care. These are very, very difficult times that we can see going on right before our very own eyes. We had the federal government of Nigeria seem not to be bothered. The federal government of Nigeria seem not to be bothered with what is happening to the people. These things must be looked upon very carefully. Enough is enough. Let's prioritize education. In my first analysis, I was talking about how we have not made our university such a place that other people can come. Do you know previously to this time, my father used to tell me that other African countries, they come to Nigeria to get quality education. What is the, what is the case today? Reverse is the case. Nigerians go to South Africa. Why? South Africa has created that enabling and, and you know, thriving environment for education. What about Ghana? Niger Ghanaians have created that environment. Nigerians go to Ghana for education. And guess what? Money that should be put back into the system for gainful employment, for lecturers, even vendors, you know, those that will sell food around the campus, those that will build hostels around the campus, you name it. Those money are taken to other countries which affect our GDP. So may we wise, may we wise. If we create the opportunity, if we create the environment, they will come. Safety is of priority. What are we doing about that? How are we prioritizing things? How are we putting things in place in order for us to be able to have a secure, safe environment, best quality education? There are, for instance, we have some private universities that are doing quite well. Must it, but must it all be private for you to have those quality of education? Go abroad. You don't have to, you don't have to always have it all private. There are these things in place. Yes, you pay for your education, the university education, but, you know, it's quality. You know, we are also paying in Nigeria, but they are going on strike. They are going on strike. How do you explain all of this? It is unfair, especially for the students. Somebody studying medicine, we're supposed to be for seven years. Medicine can turn nine years. I've been at 10 years, not because the person is dull or had an extra semester, but because of the academic system. Going on strike, federal government not care whether you go school, you not go school, you not co-sign them. Which kind of people be this one? And are they be leaders? How will they vote them in? We must rise up oh, and say what is enough for the wise. Oh. Enough is enough. Oh. Enough is enough. We must rise up and say no more. No more, no more. You get me now? It's very important now. How can we continue to just sit down, fold our arms and allow these things to happen? It's happening before our very eyes. Every one of us are silent. Eh? We need to begin to call them out on social media. Tinubu, Minister of Education, what are you doing? Please, let our students go back to school. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to please like or share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.